Welcome back to our decimal checkerboard map. We're going to be multiplying a decimal by a decimal. We're going to do 123 and 45 hundredths times 34 and 20 hundredths, or you could say it 34 and 2 tenths. All right, so here is our number, 123. And remember, between the units and tenths is an and. 45 hundredths multiplied by 34 and two tenths. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit rapidly during this lesson. So if you need to stop and rewind, go ahead. Okay, so five, remember this is the multiplier, so I don't need to get beads here. It's right here is where we're starting. Five, and I'm gonna multiply by two tenths. Remember, multiplying by a tenth means we divide, right? It's the same as dividing. Our, no, our answer will be smaller. So this answer so far will be in thousandths. So we have a five, two times. Well, a five, two times is the same as 10, which is the same as that. 10 thousandths is the same as one hundredth. Now we need to get a four bead, two times. Well, I know four times four, I mean, four times two is eight, and eight plus one is nine. Now I move over and I'm gonna need a three bead, two times. Three bead two times is the same as six. I'm gonna just exchange while we're doing it. Now I'm gonna go to my two beads and I need two of them, which gives me four, right? Two times two is four. Now I'm gonna need a one bead two times, which is the same as two, because one times two is two. Here's my first partial product. My first partial product is going to be 24 and 69 hundredths. Okay, 24 and 69 hundredths. Now we'll go to our next our next section. We're going to be multiplying by units. So 5 times 4, well, 5 times 4 is 20. And you can check to be sure. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. So I could put 20 here, or I could put a 2 bead there. And then we multiply 4 times 4, which is 16, plus 2 is 18, right? 18. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. I'll just move this over. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. <laughs> 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 1 times 4 is 4. Now we're going to multiply by the tens place. So 5 times 3. That's really 5 hundredths times 3. Will give us 15, right? 15. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus this 1 is 13. 3 times 3 is 9. Oh, but I see this one here. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So I'm just going to scooch that over. Now 2 times 3. See here we have 2 times 3. Well that's 6 plus that 1 is 7. And then I have 1 3 times, which is the same as 3. Okay, so I instead of laying out each bead, I did the calculations in my head and I laid out the beads and I exchanged as necessary. Okay, so that's one way to do it if you're if you're fast with your multiples. Okay, so now what we do is our slide down to find the answer. So we're gonna slide this down. So our answer in hundredths is nine. And I will slide down my answer in tenths. So I have six and five, which I know is 11, plus eight. 11 plus eight is 19. 
So I'm going to add my one over here and my nine. So my answer in tenths is nine. Now I'm going to slide down the rest of my units, which I have six and four is ten, right? Because three and three is six plus four is ten. So I'm going to put a unit there. I'm going to leave that there because really 10 plus 1 is 11, so here's 11, okay? Then I'm going to slide down my rest of my 10s, and I have 9 and 1. I always try to make a friendly number. That makes 10. So I'm going to leave my 2 here because 10 and 2 is 12, and here's 12. 12. Okay, so my answer in 10s is 2. Let's find out what our answer in hundreds is. My answer in hundreds will be 7 plus 4 plus 1. Well, I know 7 plus 4 is 11. Right? So 7 plus 4 is 11. So I'm going to get 11. But I can combine these to make 2, can't I? And this goes back because I need to put a one right there, don't I? <laughs> and then I'm going to slide down my thousand to join my other thousand. And I add those together. Three and one makes four. So our entire product is 4,221 and 99, oops, hundredths. Let's see if you can see that. Four thousand two hundred twenty one and ninety nine hundredths. And that's what my calculator got too. <laughs> All right, I hope you liked that.